I'm Dr. Tyler Osterley, an assistant professor of psychiatry with Mayo Clinic. Today, I'd like to give you some information about opioid overdose. It's a serious medical condition that may at some point affect you or someone you care about. Opioids are natural or synthetic chemicals that reduce pain. Although taking these prescription medications can help you manage pain, they can also lead to addiction. This physical dependence can lead to withdrawal symptoms when the medication is stopped. You may also develop a tolerance for the drug, meaning that over time you need higher doses to relieve your pain, putting you at higher risk for a potentially fatal overdose. If you or someone you know gets addicted, you're not alone. From 1999 to 2020, more than 263,000 people died from opioid overdose. In 2021, there were an estimated 107,000 drug overdose deaths in the United States, and one out of four people receiving long-term opioid therapy struggles with opioid use disorder. Anyone who uses opioids can experience an overdose, but your risk increases if you're over 65 or have certain medical conditions like sleep apnea or reduced kidney or liver function. Behaviors like combining opioids with alcohol or certain other drugs significantly raise your risk, as does taking high daily dosages or more medication than you were prescribed. Illegal opioids like heroin or illicitly manufactured fentanyl can contain unknown harmful substances. It's important to recognize the signs of an overdose and act fast. Here are some common signs. Small or constricted pupils, falling asleep or passing out, slow, shallow breathing, choking or gurgling sounds, and of course a limp body or pale, blue, or cold skin. It may be hard to tell if a person is experiencing an overdose. If you suspect they might be, it's best you call 911 immediately. You may save a life. Remember, you don't have to struggle with addiction alone. Reach out, seek help, resources are there for you. We wish you well.